population is booming, and that means more and more kids are headed to school. But here's the problem. The number of school bus drivers is not keeping up with the population. We're going to send it back to the Orlando Sentinel now. This is interesting because you got to have all this working in order to make it work. Right, so the shortage is nationwide, but local school districts are feeling it too. They're having trouble finding drivers because of the low pay and the high stress. I have reporter Annie Martin here to tell us more about it. Annie, how serious is the shortage locally? Well, it's pretty serious. They have about 64 openings in Orange County alone right now. Um, and what the local districts have told me is that the reason why this is happening, they think, is because as the economy improves, people are going back to work in other fields where the pay is better or the stress is not as bad. The driver that I spoke with um, gave me her perspective on the situation. She's been driving for 22 years in Seminole County, and what she told me was that she felt like a lot of her colleagues were leaving because of the pay. And she sort of described to me a typical day on the bus for her. She's navigating rush hour traffic, she's keeping an eye on the kids in the back of the bus, and she has to, um, you know, make sure that um, like when the stop arm goes out, that drivers stop and it's safe for the kids to cross. So she's got a lot of um, things on her plate, and the pay for drivers locally is not that great. It starts at about 10.78 per hour um, is the lowest, and, and that's in Lake County. Um, other districts pay a little more. It kind of ranges between 10.78 and 12 dollars per hour as the starting pay. So again, it's not. You know, it's a job where the pay is not great and the stress is, is pretty high, and the responsibility is huge too when you've got dozens of kids on a bus and you need to get them to school safely. Right, for that level of responsibility, you mentioned the hourly pay, but the average in Florida for bus drivers last year was just over 18,000. So to have that as your only job, um, did she mention that the colleagues are having multiple jobs, getting second jobs? Right, because um, driving a bus is not always a full-time job. Um, people may not work eight hours a day or, um, you know, they don't work the entire year. They work when school is in session. A lot of people take on second jobs or they'll drive for after-school activities or field trips to make up those hours. But if they do that, their day can extend um, pretty late into the evening, as late as 10 or 11 at night. And um, their day starts really early. The driver that I talked to leaves the bus station at 5.45 a.m. to um, get the first round of high school kids to school on time. So is this, is the shortage affecting anything right now today um, in the area or is this something that could have a bigger effect in the future? Well, what the districts told me was that they have enough substitutes to step in generally um, on the routes that don't have a regular driver. But on days where a lot of people call out sick or a lot of people are out for some reason, um, they can get pretty strapped and sometimes they'll have to have a supervisor step in for a regular driver. Um, for Orange, because they are considering pushing back the high school start times and that would require them um, likely to add bus drivers, that could become an issue in the next several months if they aren't able to uh, hire enough drivers to fill those positions. Amy, what do you think about the, the bus drive shortage? Um, has it affected you or anyone you know? No, it hasn't, but I, I drive my kids to and from school. But I got to say, when you hear that number, $18,000, and you think about the amount of responsibility that these drivers have, it's a little frightening. It is. And, um, you know, the driver um, that I spoke with, kind of explain to me, um, you know, what some of the stressors are associated with her job. Sometimes other drivers on the road are not as courteous of the school oh, sure. bus as they should be. They might run her stop sign, um, and so she has to, you know, make sure that it's okay for kids to cross the road before she gives mm -hmm. them the okay. She's dealing with normal, you know, normal rush hour traffic, issues, and she's yeah. driving a huge normal bus. She's dealing with right. behavior issues. And the driver that I spoke with said she tries to go above and beyond and, you know, be the first friendly face that the kids see in the morning and ask them how their day went, how things are going at school, that right. kind of a thing. So it's something that she really feels passionately about. Um, you know, like one of the bus, bus supervisors told me, nobody does this for the pay. They do it because they're passionate about kids. Sure, but absolutely. They're having a hard time keeping those people on staff because the, the pay is just not is not there. Wow. I had the same bus driver from kindergarten all the way through high school, Rose. She was the sweetest thing in the world. God bless that woman.